More than half of global GDP and most firms moderately or highly depend on natural capital. Biodiversity, the variability in species, is the key component of natural capital. It is responsible for the food that we harvest, the construction material that we use, recreation activities, water filtration and pollination. However, in recent years, natural capital, including biodiversity, has declined rapidly. Today, it is in a global crisis, and the financial implications of this crisis have attracted a wide range of stakeholders, including calls for greater corporate transparency. In my project, by using a combination of texture analysis and manual coding, I explore the current state of biodiversity reporting of large European public firms from 2020 to 2022. The results suggest a quickly evolving reporting landscape. I identify three main developments. First, the increases in disclosure are primarily related to the more qualitative dimensions of reporting. Second, the increases in reporting are primarily due to the extensive margin, not the intensive margin. Third, the foundations of reporting are also evolving quickly. Firms are increasingly referencing the reporting frameworks, the uh, measurement concepts and corresponding regulation. In a second step, I also analyze the determinants of this disclosure and focus on two areas. The first area is the role of the numerous voluntary biodiversity reporting initiatives. I find that on average, firms that reference these initiatives report more on biodiversity. This is consistent given that biodiversity is a relatively new topic with the view that such standards may reduce the uncertainty around the topic and guide towards uh, disclosure. Second, I focus on the interdisciplinary nature of biodiversity. Firms that have exposure in other environmental dimensions, so for example CO2, water or waste, also report on average more on biodiversity. This is also consistent with knowledge spillovers from these areas that may help the firm to also disclose more on biodiversity.